Like, all right, guys, there's been a lot of talk about girl math and boy math. And this is a very important public service announcement on that. And I'm actually... <laughs> Ladies, this one, you got to fix this one. I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of this one. Check this out. Look at this. This girl math right here. You know what happened right after this too? You know what she did? She called her husband and she said, Hey, can you come scrape my windows? And of course you're going to do that. But you, you didn't have to. If you just started your car a little bit sooner, nobody would be doing anything with the scraping. All right, so this has got to get fixed. It's got to get fixed. Now I'm pissed. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Education, and welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. Generally, on our Thursday videos, we don't have a punishment, but today there is. It's a very simple one. Today's punishment is if you laugh, you lose, and you have to go watch yesterday's video and play it through its entirety. It's a long one. It's our best of Try Not to Laugh 2023. I think this is the third year now that we've done this, or second maybe, I can't remember. You have options. I said play it in its entirety. So you could go play it, walk away, and come back a couple hours later. You can do that, that's fine, but you just gotta do that. All right, so if you lose today, that's your punishment. If you are ready for today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. Try not to laugh. Go. Coach definitely wasn't happy. <laughs> all right, all right. You know what? Every kid that plays basketball, you have to try this at one time or another with your buddy, especially if you can't dunk. So I, I'm all for this. However, yes, your coach will be mad. You will probably get a technical foul. Uh, something wrong with it. You, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, I can't believe you guys did that. <laughs> He's on a scooter. This is not going to end well, I'm assuming. What the? Dude, she did like a mid-air plank. Look at this. And she hit a crack and just fell. What the? It's like she knew she was going to fall and she went all in and just planked mid-air. <laughs> Come on. You got to work on that dexterity or agility there. That was pretty bad. Point of view, your dog has had enough. Hang in there, buddy. It gets better, man. It gets better. You're going to love that little baby one day. <laughs> I know you probably do now. But yes, the crying. It's tough. It is. It's a tough adjustment. What my husband apparently hears whenever I tell him about any upcoming plans. <laughs> Here's the problem. Here's the problem, ladies is you, you always find the worst time to tell us these things. It's like we'd be in the middle of putting together your Ikea desk that you bought off of Amazon. We're in the middle of yelling at that screw that won't go in. And you're telling us this, and we're not paying attention because of that. Maybe we aren't the problem. <laughs> argue. Husband, wives, argue right now. I put my hair up this morning without looking, and no one has told me that I have been walking around all day with a perfect two-foot-long rat tail. I mean, do you see this shit? It's, what? Dude, that's amazing. I'm at work. I, I... No, okay, first off, you need a new place to work because they, they, uh, they don't care enough to tell you. That being said, it kind of looks intentional. Maybe you're going for a new style. I don't know how you didn't feel that on the back of your neck, but I mean, it's, yeah, you know. You make it work, I guess. My blind dog loves watching this movie. It's not funny, man. When I meet people in public, people often ask me like, oh, is your hair a wig? Can I touch it? Do you think if I could pick a wig, I'd pick this one? You think I'd pick a lifetime of pain people <laughs> shouting ron weasley people singing the sun will come out tomorrow <laughs> you think i'd f choose that voluntarily now i'd have f like black hair slick back normal haircut this is what god's done to me i haven't chose this <laughs> a life of pain how do you do it oh, why the, oh that broke me 
What was the coolest rule that your parents gave you growing up? If we did our chores and we didn't talk back and we basically did everything right, then we didn't get our ass beat. <laughs> Anyone else? You get that rule? How to know if your toddler is taking a two? <laughs> they make it so obvious, man. They're they're off in the corner. It's like, hey, let's, hey, whoa, 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 stop! Let's go to the potty. Like it's right there. No, and they don't want to. So you got you got to work real hard. You got to do that potty, tra potty training. You know, put the underwear on them, let them go in their pants. It's it's a it's a tough process, but. Gotta do it, mom. How to find my antisocial dad at a wedding. Hell yeah, pops. Hang in there, pops. All you gotta do is show face, sit around for the ceremony, take your seat, eat your meal, and you can go. That's it. You gotta battle through it, dad. You gotta battle through it. It is what it is. It's part of it. It's part of life. Went to my son's clarinet concert earlier. I deserve a medal for holding it together. <laughs> Ooh. Who's that on? Is that on the, the teacher? The maestro? Dude, oh. Oh. College football playoff committee. 13-0 FSU. Feeling all right, uh called your number, didn't I? No, 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 you didn't. Oh. Well, better luck next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that's over your head, Florida State went undefeated. And they didn't make the playoffs. They went undefeated. I, you know, I'm not a big college football fan, but how do you go undefeated and not make the tournaments? Mom's tree off that Ozempic. Okay, all right. A tree is a tree, man. Love your tree. All shapes and sizes. Don't discriminate. That being said, uh, your tree is looking a little ozempic -y. I guess, you know, if you don't have a lot of room in your place, I would say you do have some room. I look like there's some room there by the railing. Tree takes up space, man. I was born with a condition that causes my vision to be very bad. She thought I looked like Brad Pitt. <laughs> I mean, dude, you look pretty close, man. <laughs> What's that show? Uh, Shallow Hal. You ever seen that with Jack Black? <laughs> That's what she's got. Hopefully it doesn't go away, man. Hopefully she still has that vision problem so she doesn't realize. <laughs> Difference between boys and girls. <laughs> what are you saying? You saying girls are smarter? Huh? Saying we have an anger problem? Ugh. Three bedroom, three bathroom apartments for $625 a month. That's cheap. Oh, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> yeah, uh, if it's too good to be true, it is. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. Yes, so uh, careful. Careful renting a place, buying a place. You gotta know the neighborhood. That right there is, that's a little cheap these days. I am literally freaking out right now. I have no idea how this possum got Whoa. in my house. Oh, it's terrifying. And up into my tree. Oh. And I'm trying to get him out, but it will not let me. And I just don't know what to do. I don't know how I got in here. Um, I don't leave my doors open. Um, Somebody help. Is that real? Or is this a stage? Regardless, that's terrifying. Dude, look at the look in his eye. That thing might jump on you. I, you know... Get a little rabies in there. It could be aggressive. It could be an aggressive species. So careful. Call the exterminator, or the you know they don't exterminate. I'm, relax, animal people. They can put them in a cage. They can go release them into the wild. Get get off your high horse. Stop. Or right, next. I'm, I'm before the animal people come after me again. Next. When mom dresses you. That's gonna be first versus dad. Okay. So what's it look like when dad dresses you? <laughs> USA, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You know, um, what do you expect? Whatever's on the top, that's what the kid's wearing. Because at the end of the day, 
It's gonna get dirty. It's gonna. It doesn't matter. You know. Telling my dad I put the Christmas gas in my car. Oh. What? Hey, what's up? Well, I'm about to leave Ella's and my car is acting really weird. What's it doing? Well, I went and I filled up my car with gas because I was like lowering low because of whatever I was driving. Here. And I did the like Christmas gas because that's like the whatever, the green pump, and now it won't like start. What do you mean green pump? Mom, Maya's awake. Like the green at the gas station? The green? What do you mean? The green pump. Like, there's like a green one. Avery, did you put diesel in the car? <laughs> is that what that is? Who's calling? What? It's, it's is that stuff. what kind of gas that is? I don't know, Avery. What do you what? mean? You put 87 <laughs> unleaded in your car for premium. Well, I thought you could put the Christmas one in there. Christmas? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> okay, I'm joking. It's a prank. Don't freak out. What? I didn't actually do that. Okay. You are not running? No, it's fine. It's a joke. Okay, that's not funny, Avery. <laughs> that's not funny. Are you coming over now? Or Stop doing that to your dads. All right? They're already worried enough about you. They care too much. You're going to give them a heart attack. Worried about what boy you're going to bring home. And then you put diesel in your freaking gas car. Uh, PSA on that, too. If you're at BP, the... The 87 is green. It, it's messed up. I don't know why and how BP gets away with that. But be, just just put 87. Look at the thing, 87. Don't worry about the handle, 87. Wrapping my wife wife's Christmas present. Oh, it, ha, ha, ha. Get it? Because you're the present? I, oh, yeah. I think she's sick of that present. You know? <laughs> Go get her something special. No way. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez! Oh, you're gonna hurt someone, man. Is that a bowling ball? Did you dent the floor too? She okay. Well, the floor is okay. Got, yeah, we're good on the floor. What are you doing? I feel like that's grounds for termination here. If you that lights fixture fell on someone, get the wrong parent, man. Parents are crazy. It's never that serious. Oh, come on. <laughs> Worst type of people, man. Saving a spot. You're saving a spot for your friend, your wife, whatever. It's messed up. You can't do that. First come, first serve, bro. And what a what a child. This is more proof. Grown-ups do not exist, folks. Grown-ups are... That's a made-up thing. It's just a... You're a big kid. You're an older kid. That's it. We spent hours building the ship. Then my son did this. Oh, no. Go on. Oh, Go no. He's going to break it. Watch this. I really can't believe it. Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, I honestly feel really bad. I feel really bad for that little kid. He's just trying to have fun. I blame the dad there. Like, you, dude, you can't, you can't let your kid play with that. That's, I mean, if, if you're gonna, well, that's kind of the point of Legos though, right? I don't know, man. I'm torn. I actually feel really bad for that kid. My OCD when I see my husband wipe his hands with our Christmas decorative towels. That has to end. That truly has to end. Your decorative towels. Towels are meant for hands. They're meant for drying your hands off. They're meant for cleaning the counters. Okay? These decorative towels that just... Oh, it stays there. Don't touch them. No. Stop it. I'm, yes, I'm going to use the towel. If it's there, I'm going to use it. Okay? Enough of this. It's one of the problems in our culture. These decorative towels. People don't talk about it much, but we have to talk about it here. When your mom says she can touch the ceiling. Oh my gosh. All right. Careful, mom. Uh, I mean, she touched it. She did. Dude, look how far she got up the, the floor. That was like a 
four, maybe three inch vert. That was pretty bad, mom. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't be doing that. We got a lot of people falling today. Um, hope she's okay there. Tip me if your girl is hot. It's kind of a genius sign. If you're peddling, if you're panhandling. Okay, so now, now he's in a dilemma. Do I give the guy money? You shouldn't. But then now, oh no. She, she's like, you don't think I'm hot? Okay, so you have to. That's genius. Truly. Boys, careful. You're going to have to... Uh, you're going to have to fork out a buck. You just have to do that, unfortunately, you know? Actual footage of me driving away for college. I love you. Good luck, I love you. Bye-bye. Oh, stay in the driveway. Yeah, there we go. I'm perfect. Just, just so we know who broke the sprinkler. I want to make sure. Oh, oh, poor girl. She's going off to college and... Uh, oh, gosh. Hopefully they teach you to drive. You know, they don't do that at college, but <laughs> careful. This is a square. Can you guess which spot that goes the in? The square. That's right. It goes in the square hole. Yes. Okay. And how about this rectangle? That one? Also the square. That goes in there too. Yeah. Up next, we've got this thin rectangle. The thin rectangle. Can you guess where that goes? The thin rectangle. That's right. It goes in the square <laughs> hole. And up next... A cylinder. Hmm. The circle. I think that goes in the circle. The square hole. Now we've also got the semicircle right here. Do you see a slot that would fit the, the semicircle? Semicircle. The, sem the semicircle. That's right. It's the square hole. <laughs> okay. Up next, the triangle. We know what hole that goes the into, triangle. right? Triangle. That's right. The square hole. And up la up so next. Stupid. We have the arch. The arch. The arch. You guessed it. The arch. It goes in the square oh, hole. God. This is what you get when you buy cheap toys for your kids. Although, you know, maybe that's just them problem solving. There's more ways to solve a problem, right? So this works. They're in the bucket now. So maybe that was on purpose. I don't know. What immediately screams trashy parenting to you? The fact that these parents out here would put their kids in Dallas Cowboy anything. <laughs> That's funny. I would say for it would be Packers, Packers gear. Why would you buy a Jordan Love jersey and let your kid wear it? Ugh. And we you know we make the 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 Cowboys jokes, but they're actually dominating this year. Like they're really good. Dak might win the MVP. Um, you know, so we, we got to maybe tone it back a little bit. They might win. All right, we're on a, it looks like a ferry or a boat or something. And <laughs> she's lucky she didn't fly away. Ladies, careful. I know those are in style right now. Uh, those fake eyelashes. So, you know, you get on a boat like this, you blink too hard, you might fly away. Point of view. Your boyfriend just hung two balls of the same color next to each other on the tree. Also, decorative towels. This is another one. Is it that big of a deal? Maybe they're like apple trees. They have to be next to each other to create more apples. The balls have to be next to each other that look alike in order to create the Christmas magic on the tree. You know? I don't know. So that's, that's my thought process. So let the Christmas magic happen. When your mom throws an energy bar at you during a marathon, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to stop. Careful bending over to pick that up. Might uh, might hurt a hammy there. I don't know how deep you are into that race, but... Point of view, you're nine hours deep into a job YouTube said would take 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, man. You got to change some calipers, change some rotors. What are you doing, man? That's the one beautiful thing about YouTube. Uh, you can change, you can fix pretty much any car. There's a, there's a how to on a lot of stuff on there. I learned how to change the blower motor on an 04 Grand Dam one time. Like, I mean, 
step by step, like a hundred views on there. It was amazing. Those those people are the true heroes of the world. Truly, my dad's hack. Oh, I'm rolling. See out here. Is that a car? <laughs> okay, one. all right. For the stairway, right? Look at this. This is me genius. Yeah. Oh. That is genius. <laughs> you might have some problems awesome. when you get a little bit more than a foot of snow. Looks uh -huh. like you just got a little sprinkle. <laughs> Couple flurries there, but you know, not a bad idea. Okay, so not to get crazy talking here or anything, but I do believe that one small change that we can make to the world that would make a big difference would be to have concerts start at 5 p.m. Thank you. Uh, you know, I think we've been over this before, but I agree. Stop starting your concert at 7, 8 p.m. Dude, that is late. I don't want to get home at midnight. I go to bed at like 8 30. This thing has been in the basement for Probably 60 years. What is that, Krampus? <laughs> it has a plug. We're gonna see if it works. Don't plug that in, dude. This does. Look how old this thing looks. Yeah, it's like this from the ridiculous. 1920s. Look how dirty I am from this Don't thing. plug it in. Okay, here we go. You can't tell my mom. Okay, he didn't. Is it moving? Oh my exploded. god, it's moving. Oh! It's dude! Oh god. That's terrifying! That's the creepiest thing we've ever done. That thing's haunted, man. You just brought that in your house. Good luck sleeping at night. Yep, dog knows. Dogs can sense that stuff. Stop. Dude, look at it! <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Mia. It's like uh, Annabelle, man. You brought in Annabelle's brother. Crampa Bell. Krampus. Krampus Bell. Yeah. Playing with fire, man. Playing with fire. Not this guy again? Dude, we've been over this guy. I already, I already know how this is going to end. For those of you that don't, enjoy. Uh, you know, don't laugh. It's not funny. All right, he throws it up in the air. Nice. Okay, he's going to go. Now he's going to try and catch it. Shame on you if you laughed at that. Truly. So I told Stephanie, I was like, maybe you should take care of them. And she was like, they're not in my section. And I was like, what do you mean they're not in your section? Mm -hmm. That's where your section starts. What? I know. And I was like, I'm not about to fight with you over some guests. <laughs> Life hack there for you, boys. Life hack. Look at this crap. They are repurposing Reese eggs and calling them lights now? We're just going to call them lights now? That is so stupid. Like, why on earth would they do that? Oh. Still tastes the same. And yes, it's Reese's, man. Listen to this. Reese eggs. Reese. And calling them lights now? I don't know who you are, man. It's Reese's. Reese's. When we get to the lot. So I get the lot this morning, and I noticed that they broke into the Escalade. They uh, busted the handle off the back and went through it. Then I noticed the hood was popped. I'm like, ah, oh, they got another battery. No. You guys are going to kick out of They done took the whole motor. I don't even know how you have time for that. They were surgical with this. I... Ain't no good. Dude, that's some next level gone in 60 seconds thievery. That That is not. That's a huge job. And they stole a motor? That is insane. My wife spotting brake lights 300 miles away four days from now. <laughs> 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 That's a great way to end the show. So we start with the first PSA, start your cars early. Second PSA, stop doing this too. Just, I know, I see them. They're right there. I see them too. How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose. And again, there is a punishment today. You gotta go play yesterday's video. Watch the best of Try Not To Laugh 2023. We will have a Laugh You Lose best of the following week. So next next Wednesday, we'll have that best of posted as well. Let me know how you did it down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. For the children. Idiots. Thanks for watching today's show. If you have not yet, head over to Amazon or Barnes & Noble or Target or Walmart and check out my new book, Trailer Park Bearable, and pre-order your copy today.